Yo, it's upstairs with a quick and dirty episode on Maple Story M, the complete guide. It's called XP, XP, XP. Everybody loves XP. I love XP. You love XP. But you're gonna run out of XP. You're gonna be like, "Where's my XP? Where did my XP go?" I was like doing all stuff, and I was like auto, and I was like beating all the quests, and I was like auto quest, and I was tapping the quest, and it was like, "Oh, Maple Story, Maple Story is all auto. You can do everything all by yourself." And then all of a sudden, it stopped, and I have to play this game called Maple Story, which is awesome because you get to play the game called Maple Story. But you gotta play Maple Story. How do you play Maple Story? What's up? It's fish. Thank you for all the great feedback on the complete guide to Maple Story. I'm trying to do as many videos as I can and uh, and and then stream at the same time. So I'll be streaming again at twitch.tv slash fishsticks in a little bit. Catch me there. It's a great time. Helps me build the community, grow the stream, and do more content for you guys. I love to put out more stuff every day for Maple Story M because I'm loving the game so much. Look at me. I'm like Rainbow Dude. I'm like Man Barbie. I look absolutely amazing i want to swear there for a second but i don't do it not on the youtubes man check him out he is gorgeous man yo this guy's gonna get all the girls for real yo look at him he's ready to go i like dressing up man man barbie in your mouth okay cool so we're talking about xp so you hit a cap you you're leveling it up you, you hit a cap you run out a quest you're like what do i do how do i get my xp we're gonna go through all the ways to get the xp the best ways to get the xp if you don't want to do anything if you're like oh my god i just want to progress all myself all by myself as if it were auto you could do that you could, we'll do the passives first okay so you're a lazy guy you don't want to do anything you want to play maple story you just want to do the equivalent of auto questing what's the first thing you do you get your butt to a yellow area on the map you see all the dots the red and green and red and orange or whatever color you want to call them this one is yellow mr kim is always there He's always there. Mr. Kim is always there. That's the song. It's called Mr. Kim is always there. He's always there in the yellow zone. Okay? Go to Mr. Kim. He's your banker. That's where you bank your stuff and send it to your alts, your mesos, and all sorts of other cool stuff, right? So you got Mr. Kim. He's your boy. He's in the yellow area. You know what's the yellow area? Because it's Mr. Kim. Mr. Kim, yellow area. Perfect. Fantastic. Just go to the yellow dot on your map. It's really, really easy. Okay? So you're there. It's a friendly zone. It's a great time. You're having a good time. Stop. You're done. Shut it down. Turn off your phone. You're ready to get XP. It's called Rest XP. It's really good XP because it's almost the same, pretty much equivalent to Auto Battle XP. Hear me out. Almost the same as Auto Battle XP, but you're doing jack all. So there you go. There's your Auto Maple Story. You log in. You get one point every five minutes. One point every five minutes. Okay? And you can bank up to a maximum of... 100 points so log in every six eight hours collect all your rest xp say thank you next on for the rest xp that was almost as if i was auto battling except i had to go out with my girlfriend and i got to go out to work and make some money and i got to go to school and not fail and all sorts of other cool stuff all right you want another free xp go to your guild banquet i'll bring my video out on guilds tomorrow it's gonna be good guilds are very important go to your guild fort your guild hideout where you hang out with your boys every day for 30 minutes of xp there's still some people hanging out uh look at poke over here <laughs> uh you look so hot man good job on a clown outfit nice mount over here too so every day for 30 minutes you just kind of hang out here and you collect rest xp it's really really dope rest xp it's the best xp well it's actually guild banquet xp you gotta you gotta be in the guild banquet that's the best xp in the game in terms of passive you just stand there and at this level 116 i get like two and a half percent of my of my level just standing here for 30 minutes a day so add it all up maple story is all about going in little bits little bit at a time so every percentage matters guys don't think that a percentage over a minute or an hour is gonna not make a difference it really will so you get an extra two and a half over here then you're done you're the lazy guy you're gonna go back on rest xp leave your guild hideout go back to your yellow dot area wherever mr kim is and you're good to go so you got the guild banquet xp it's amazing 30 minutes a day you're done you're the lazy person you got your xp come back six eight hours make sure you're in the yellow dot zone collect your rest xp rinse and repeat come back tomorrow it's really dope you'll do it you'll level up it's going to take you a lot longer but hey there you go then you got your daily hunts 
daily hunts are awesome. They're like quests, except they're not quests, and you don't have any quests because you're looking for XP, and that's the point of this video. It's a beginner's guide. There's other stuff you can do in other videos, and we'll get into the more complex things, but this is the beginner's guide to XP. Daily hunts, they're dope. They give you the most amount of XP per quest. It's really, really good. Go to the map, click on the, 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 the green button that's, that's now completed because I did my daily hunts, and you're just going to kill some mobs, basically. Kill them all, get the XP, move on, get the girl, win the game, roll the credits. You know what I'm saying? Cool. Cool cool daily hunts do them every day that's why they're called daily hunts then you've got your dailies you can do your daily dungeons collect your ticket save your ticket for the day that you want the jewel from or the weekend and you can choose your day do your elite dungeons get your extra ticket do your extra elite dungeon if you're not level 95 take that ticket and save it until you're level 95, so you can get those gooey epic gears. We'll talk about the mini dungeon afterwards. Do your dojo. Dojo give you points at the end of the week, depending on your rank. The stronger you are, the better you rank. The further you can go in dojo. Get some cool stuff, man. This pennant is dope. It's only for seven days, but it gives you a permanent 15% buff on XP. And if you're a farmer, you're a grinder, you're a mob, you're going to want to get it. Otherwise, save up. Save for the chair. The skin's really cool, except it's uh, it's seven days only. So, it's a steep price for seven days. But, you know, we'll check it out in the video for sure. The salads for XP, I like that very much. The salmon sushi is for, for meso acquisition. And the shooting star candy is for drop rate increase. So, these things are going to complement what you're going to do in the mini dungeon. Very quickly, let's talk about auto. Guys, short and sweet. I'll do another video about this. But people are giving the wrong information. YouTube, streams, Discord, Reddit. People are coming to my stream saying, why are you doing the mini dungeon? I heard it was bad. Guys, just don't listen to them. I'm going to give you the short and sweet on it. Mini dungeons are great for auto battle. Auto battle is convenient. It's stupid. It's slow. It only uses your main attack skills. And it also gives you a drop rate increase. Okay? But you're not going to get a drop rate on a Star Force map. You're not going to get a drop rate on a Star Force map. I'll say it again. You're not going to get a drop rate on a Star Force map. Because drop rates are crap. And the meso acquisition is crap. So if you're looking for mesos or you're looking for drops for your epic gears, which you're going to need, or your regular gears, or your normal max gears, which you might not have had already, you will need those drops, okay? You could farm mesos unlimited. You could farm XP unlimited. You can't farm materials unlimited. Therefore, you want to maximize your autoplay where you're getting your drop. Where are you going to maximize the autoplay for a guy who is dumb, who can't play properly, who appears to be having server issues and jumping around in weird ways like a bishop, but that's fine. Where are you going to use that? Where are you going to use it? You're going to use the mini dungeon, the easiest map in the game. Three layers. This guy cannot mess up. He cannot mess up. He'll mess up everywhere else in the game. These mobs, they spawn infinitely. They respawn infinitely. It's a confined amount of time. You can shut your phone off while you're doing this auto as well. Shut it off. You don't even have to be on. You will not die if you've got your potions and your pets out. And you make sure you go to a mini dungeon where you're one or two hitting mobs at the most. You want to be one hitting mobs, okay? You're one hitting mobs. Go to a mini dungeon, put your autoplay on there, use your tickets one ticket at a time, one at a time, because you get plus 15 guild points every single time, every single time, okay? If you use them all at once, you only get plus 15 guild points once. So you use it once at a time, 30 minutes at a time, which is why it's better to AFK and auto this and then get your rest XP while you're going to school or going to work or you're sleeping. Because you can go one at a time and get more guild points. And then you get your guild skill. And very quickly, I'll remind you. Well, I'll tell you because the guild video is coming up. You get a guild skill. It's based on wherever your, your guild has put points into. We put it into XP. And if I click that use skill for two hours, I will get that buff of 2%. Okay? And it increases as you level your guild up. It's really dope. It's going to go up to like, what, 10%? Flip for two hours. I reset, it resets. Two hours, more XP buff, free for the guild. Get plus 15 guild points every time you enter the mini dungeon. Okay? Go to the dojo like I said before. Grab your drop rate acquisition buff. Grab your meso acquisition buff. Like, heck, I'm, I'm farming over 100, 100 per on my mini dungeon. Now, I could farm more mesos than this. And I could farm more XP than this. But this is an amazing place for me to get guild points, mesos, XPs, drop rates as well. Really, really, really true. Here's the other reason why you want to be using your mini dungeon. Remember this, guys, okay? Get up what everybody else told you. Click on the check mark, click on the event. You got to get these maple leaves every day, every single day. They take a long time to get. 
If you're using your auto on your Star Force, say goodbye to your Maple Leaf quest every day. You're not going to get it in the Star Force. The drop rate is intentionally crap on the Star Force for Mesos and for drops because it's the best for XP in the game. All right? You want XP? There you go. The other reason why you don't auto in, in Star Force is because you're going to be peeing potions. Literally. If you're running the max Star Force for the best XP, you're literally going to be leaking Mesos. Leaking Mesos. To the point where you're not even going to be able to afford to farm. You're going to be leaking Mesos to the point where you won't even be able to farm. Okay? So, I'm going to get out of here because this guy's looking like he's just taking a dump all over the server or something like that. The servers are having issues or my internet is crap in the bed. I'm not really sure. Having said that, we're going to just cruise across the map and chat a little bit more about SP. So, we talked about all those ways. Just remember, if you have to remember one thing about autoplay, use it on your mini dungeons. That's it. It's the best place to get it. You get your drops. You might get your epic gear. 650 epics dropped twice the spear amazing right incredible so we've gone through a lot of the ways to get experience a ton of the ways to get experience some of the best ways in the game to get experience where do you use your autoplay when you're done your mini dungeon that's a great question fish i'll tell you you find a map that looks as similar to the mini dungeon so your stupid guy was very slow he has an easy time farming on autoplay. And you find a map that's also giving you the best mesos and the best XP. The closest to a Star Force map. Okay? And then you farm the crap out of that. That's the easiest way to do it. That's your auto. And then, and then, if you're hardcore and you want to play Maple Story and you want to mob, and I, I do that a lot. It's really fun. <laughs> you're going to see a lot of people just mobbing straight on manual. Go to your Star Force. If you want XP, you're going to mob manually. You'll be able to be meso positive. How do you stay meso positive on Star Force? Simple rule of thumb. If you're killing something in one to two hits, you're going to be meso positive on manual. Okay, You're going to be making potions from drops. You're going to be not spending as much because you're on manual. You will be able to survive, and you will be able to use all your full skill toolkit, and you will be there. You will be active. You will not be doing glitchy stuff into to ropes and to bad jumps and to shooting onto the wall and to standing there and killing a mob 90 percent you will be doing that kind of stuff right so that's basically the the simple wrap up on xp i'm sorry it wasn't more beautiful getting some more fun content as soon as we wrap up all the basics but i want to make sure that you guys have all the means uh, with which to use uh, your 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 tools available to get the most XP in the game, and there are many many ways with which you can do that, and there will be more and more and more ways. Star Force is very good for XP, but it's for when you manual. If you're a whale, you don't have to listen to anything I say. Just keep spending money until you're, you're, you you won the game. Really, and your mistakes can all be undone with thousands of dollars. But th those mistakes are not easily undone for free to play players. So watch where you're going. Be very careful. I will catch you in the next video. We'll do guilds tomorrow. We'll do upgrading and fusion and a whole bunch of other things. There's there's too many videos and not enough time. We'll see you on Twitch. Catch me there. Twitch.tv slash fishsticks. Drop a sub. Drop a like. Appreciate your time as always. Love your balls. And I'll see you very soon.